Welcome, Amphonomy is a Black View Tab 12 and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now before I get started I'm just going to quickly mention that you can see that the tablet here is locked for me so it's telling me to unlock it using either the pattern or the Google account but assuming well, we don't know either of those I'm going to guide you through the process on basically completely removing this. So to get started uh, you want to first connect to your network which in a second you should see there we go I am connected already and once you have connected back out to the very first page and select vision settings right here at the bottom of the screen. Select talkback. Enable it right over here. Probably also mute the device right now. Talkback on. Yep. Welcome to talkback. Welcome to talkback. Please order now the reason I recommend muting it is because it's talkback so it's gonna read literally everything that is highlighted to this green outline and that can get really distracting. So that's why I recommend muting it. Now if it's not distracting to you then you don't have to do anything. Now when you're on this page you want to draw a mirrored L on a screen like this. This will bring up this pop-up, allow Android accessibility suit to record audio. Double tap on the very first option which is already selected. Then single tap use voice commands and before you double tap on it I'm just going to quickly tell you what we will need to say to the device. This will need to be audibly told to it so uh, you do want to kind of be prepared for it. So when you double tap on it you will hear a beep at which point you want to say open Google Assistant. You will hear two more beeps, one that accepts your voice command and the other one that opens up Google and now that Google is listening to you at which point you want to say open YouTube. So. I'm gonna go through it and you can see and hear how I'm doing it. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. Now for some reason the first beep was basically uh, a sound that that the tablet didn't understand me yet it opened up YouTube or Google so from there I followed up, followed up by saying open YouTube. Uh, typically you wouldn't hear that boop boop, you just hear uh, the same sound as you hear uh, in well, the second portion of these voice commands. Anyway, with this being said, we will now need to suspend our talkback. So we do so by holding volume up and a volume down at the same time. Select turn on double tap on it and then hold them again volume up and down and now we can use our display normally so from here we're gonna navigate to the account icon and we're gonna select help and feedback and in here in the describe your issue field you want to type in delete and just typing the three letters DEL gives you a suggested option called delete, disable and manage unused apps on Android. Whoop. Not what I wanted. Let's try it again. There we go. So that's what we want to click on. From here, we're going to now select in the first step right here, top to go to application settings. And to start off, we're going to be looking for we're looking for Android setup, but I think we first need to another oh, no, as Android setup. So once you see it, you can then select force stop and OK. And from there, I'm gonna back out once. And we're gonna scroll down to well, Google Play Services, which, there we go, somewhere like in the midpoint. Google Play Services. Here you're gonna select Disable, Disable App, and for Stop, and OK. Next thing, just gonna quickly consult my little guide right here.
looks like we're just gonna now hold our power button once we have disabled D2 apps. And we're gonna select restart. Okay, so uh, now we're gonna progress through the setup just a little bit. We're simply gonna check if our uh, connecting to Wi-Fi page has option to set it up offline. If it does, great, we can proceed further. So we're gonna now back out again and we will repeat most of those steps, basically all of them. What we want to do now is re-enable the Google Play services. So again, we're gonna select Talkback. Now this time around, I'm gonna go through it a little bit quicker. Open Google Assistant. Now there is a one difference as you can see when you try to open up Google Assistant, Google Play services is disabled. So now it gives us this pop-up right here. We're gonna now select settings, double tap, and we're gonna select right here, enable. But before we do so, uh, we do want to suspend the talkback. So hold volume up and down and this will turn it off. And now we can just select enable. Now we're gonna back out. And we're gonna again progress through the setup. All right, I did mess it up right now. Hopefully that won't affect it. So uh, we do want to be right here on the Wi-Fi connection page. So when you start seeing the loading uh, little thingy things where it spins, go back. Uh, here we're gonna now select setup offline. The, the reason why we didn't do that before is because Google Play services wasn't enabled. Now that it is enabled, we can do so. And as you can see, it just skips over verification of the device. So here we're gonna finish up the setup. Uh, we can skip setting up anything at the moment. And once you have access to your home screen, uh, first thing that you will want to do is perform a factory reset of the device. So we're gonna open up settings, go to system, reset options, erase all data, erase all data, and erase all data. Now, the reason we wanted to do this is because the device was still locked. Uh, we just found a way to kind of bypass this, circumvent the verification. Uh, by performing a reset now, we are completely removing this protection altogether from the device. So we don't need to verify anything, it just gets completely uh, trashed. Once the reset is finished, we can then go through the setup of our device in whatever way we want. At that point, the device will be fully unlocked. So I'm just gonna let this run too, and then once the reset is finished, I'm gonna come back, do a really quick setup, just so you can see I don't have to verify literally anything on the device. Okay, so now that the reset is finished, like I mentioned before, I'm gonna go through a quick setup. Now, one thing to keep in mind, after the setup, I do have the option to set it up offline, and this is not like a scammed one like we did before, which allowed us to just circumvent the verification process. This is just a normal setup offline because we don't need to verify anything. And we don't have a little lock right here telling us that the device is locked, so it gives us the option to just set it up in whatever way we want. And there we go. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.